Howdy, this is Mike McCracken coming to you live from Las Vegas. I got something that happened to me. It's very strange, and it's going to happen to many other people. I have to go see a neuropsychologist because I'm considered wacko, I guess, because I preach the mark of the beast. In times prophecy, I preach Jesus Christ. I preach fight for righteousness. I call myself a Christian Marine because I'm a the Marines are crazy and they don't back down to nothing. Well, at least back when I was in. Anyway, so I have to go see a a neuropsychologist because I anger management class and because I fought against e-cigarettes. E-cigarettes are polluting people's air, just like regular cigarettes. They cause sores and scabs on the lungs. It's already proven. It's on the internet all over the place. I fought against that. And, you know, they said I need anger management. And I was preaching uh, in time, showing people the mark of the beast, the RFID chip which is going to become a market of ease or something like it on my credit card. I just got it. It's already starting. What's happening is the mark of the beast preaching it is anti-government. It's anti-world. Uh, Jesus said, if the world hates you, you know first that it hated me. It also says if you are being persecuted, persecuted, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Matthew, the fifth chapter, at the end of the Beatitudes, in the last Beatitude. Uh, for your rewards are stored in heaven. I will not back down. I am dogmatic. And they know that. So anything against God, I fight against. And I've been in many uh, quarrels, I guess you want to call them. I've even knocked cigarettes out of people's hands in China and different countries because they got close to me. And they said, that's crazy thinking. But mainly it's because I was preaching Jesus Christ and the mark of the beast in the end times, anti-government. I am considered a terrorist right now to the American government and the world. Jesus said, no one's above his master. His prophets were persecuted. I know in the future, my life isn't going to be worth anything according to the world because I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to take the mark of the beast. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Do not Take the mark of the beast. Except Jesus. Taking the mark of the beast is like living for a season. And having everything you want. But it's not going to happen that way because Revelation shows us not. When they say there's peace, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 and 2. If, when they say there's peace, there's going to be uh, like a woman in travail, a pregnant woman. That's the way it's going to be. There's not going to be peace. They'll lie to you. They'll tr try anything they can to get you to believe it. I'm considered wacko now and have to go take a, a psychology, see a neuropsychologist because I preach this to other psychologists and uh, all around me. People who ever talk to me find out about the mark of the beast I'm not afraid I'm preaching it boldly Jesus said if you are afraid to, if you don't confess me before men I will not confess you before my father but if you confess me before men I will confess you before my father in heaven so I want to be confessed I want to be known as a Christian I want if I have to be known as a crazy wacko thank you the devil is not winning. The devil knows it. He cannot fight against Jesus Christ. I'm on 
God's side, Jesus Christ. I became a Christian Marine. I used to say Christian soldier, but I'm an ex-Marine, so um, they say once a Marine, always a Marine. I am not going to fight. The rules are in the Marine Corps, and with the love of Jesus, is there's no surrender is not an option. You can't lose. You're on God's side. It may look like you're losing, but you're just gonna you end up losing by taking a mark because it's eternity. You're burning the lake of fire in hell. Uh, Revelations 14, 9 through 11. If any man take the mark, the same shall burn in a lake of fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel and the Lamb. And the torment shall be day and night forever and ever without end. Once you take the mark of the beast, that's it. You are eternally condemned. So, are you gonna, what will you do if they think you're mentally off? Surrender to the world or stay with God? This is just one tactic that's going to be used many times. This is because of my songwriter wanting to thank you for listening to a Christian who is considered wacko to this world because I don't consider myself part of this world. I'm part of Jesus Christ. Thank you and God bless you.